wakulima ongeze ni kilimo Livestock production has been rapidly improving over the years riding on adoption of technologies such as artificial insemination over time Artificial insemination is a slow upgrading program which can take up to 10 years to acquire a high value pedigree breed this is, however, set to change following the introduction of a new technology of producing breeds with higher yields in milk in just one calving period. This follows a move by Gakindu Dairy Cooperative Society in Mukurweni, Nyeri County, to introduce a new technology of breeding livestock through a procedure known as embryo transfer, which involves harvesting of embryos from high-quality breeds a few days after fertilization and implanting them into inferior ones. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, very superior genetic stock has been flushed. Uh, that means the embryos have been collected out of this genetic superior animals and their genetics are then captured in that embryos. The embryos were then brought to uh, this facility here and then implanted into the recipients behind me. The donor cow, which is usually a genetically superior animal, is fast conditioned with hormones to induce ovulation, thereby releasing several eggs, which normally range between 10 to 15. The animal is then inseminated for the next 12 hours, three hours apart to ensure all eggs are fertilized upon which the embryos are flushed out after seven days in a procedure called washing the uterus. Excess fluid is then filtered using the catheter and the embryos are then selected to separate male and female embryos and then graded under a microscope. The embryos are then transferred into recipient females, allowing the donor animal to continue being used for embryo production. When embryos are said to be transferred, the recipient cow is immediately brought on heat at the same time to ensure the harvested embryo finds suitable conditions to grow. The cost of carrying the procedure on one animal is estimated at 60,000 shillings. This technology is called Galama. Unaweza lipa kalibu 60,000. Lakini tukiwa group to reduce expenses zote ambaye kama sasa hizi ngombe ziko hapa wakulima atalipa 1015. Use of embryo transfer enables a farmer to get high pedigree breed with milk production capacity of up to 40 liters in a day in just 9 months. Ukihitaji kupata ngombe ya pedigree inashukua miezi tisa unapata ngombe ya pedigree ambaye wakati tunaenda na ile jia ya natural way ya improving bleed inashukua mkulima miaka samba hadi kumi ndio apate pedigree with proper uptake of the technology, the society projects to increase its milk collection from the current average of 5 liters to 30 liters per cow daily. Caroline Jenga reporting for Farm Talk. Kulima, ongeze ni kilimo. Wajuta.